Fresh Start fam! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this is April's Fresh Start Budgets. Today it is our sinking funds day where we will take the completed savings challenges from the month of May and apply them to our longer term sinking funds. So let's take a look at all the savings challenges that we completed for the month of May. Okay, not bad, not a lot, but not bad, so we'll take it. So, all right, let's go ahead and I'll tell you a little bit about each of our savings challenges and where you can get one for yourself and then we'll count it and see how much we have. So this was a spring freebie from Save With Tess. Um, each leaf on here, you could designate an amount. Originally, I thought I would do it for $5 per leaf. Uh, that would be a total of $250 saved, however, I realized with everything that I had going on um, it, with saving for our vacation, it was not sustainable to do $5 per leaf. So I dropped it back down to a dollar, which is also right here for $1, it would be $50 saved. So we have the $50 right here. This was a freebie from Save With Tess. I will have her link in the description box below so you could go to her channel and check it out and get one for yourself so that looks so pretty with the leaves colored i was very excited to do it and i am so happy that i did so there's 50. i'm also going to keep a tally over here going okay so this one is from jenny over at simply living saves this was one of her collabs that she did with D over D plans and budgets. Each flower is two dollars, and this should have, um, I believe, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, so twenty-four. All right, so it has the twenty-four dollars, and this was again a freebie from her channel. So again, I will have everybody linked in the description box below. So let me add twenty-four. All right, this adorable puppy is from Jamie over Jamie R M budgets. I uh, ordered something from her and she sent this to me as a gift because I made a huge deal about how I, every time anybody does that 369, you know, our age group, we always sing that song. So the get low song. And of course this little puppy just represents getting low so perfectly. This is from Jamie's Etsy shop. So I will have a link to her shop in the description box below. This is a $54 challenge. So let's make sure that that's what we have. We have 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54. So we do. Thank you so much to Jamie for that one. Let me put these in there. All right, this is from my sticker wow from Listen Doug. This was a clearance item that I found at Walmart and I thought it comes with a bunch of these different pages and then a sticker applicator that you just kind of stamp it in there. And I thought it would be fun to turn it into a savings challenge. So that's exactly what I did. This one, it is a $30 savings challenge. So we have the $30 here. This is from uh, Jenny over, at, or I'm sorry, Jen at Teach, Save, Travel and Danny over at Craft Co. Budgets. This is the Don't Worry, Be Cappy. And this was a $90 challenge. We have 50, 60, or sorry, 50, 55, 60, 80, 85, and 90. All right, this is from D at D Plans and Budgets. We had a whole year of um, freebies and this was the May one. It was $2 each is what I designated each tulip. So a total savings of $24. Oh, I need to add the 90 in. So let me add the 90 and then let me add the 24. And we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This is another one from Jamie at Jamie RM Budgets. I did this in my 30 Thursday. This is the Spread Happiness $1 one for a total of 16. So five, 10, 15, and 16. And then this was the $2 one 
And did I write a total on this one? I did not. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. Okay, so I'll put those in there. And last but not least is the collab between G and K Designs and Budgets, Mindy's Budgeting, and Hot Mess Budgets. This was the Peepin' It Real part of their Road to 1K collab. This is a total of $36. So we saved a grand total of $356 in the month of May. That is great. I am super happy about that. It's not a most ideal month, but you know what? If we saved anything, that is ideal. So I will take it. I know we put a lot in every month. We already probably have over this saved for the month of June so far because we completed a few savings challenges on our last savings challenge Saturday. If you missed that video, uh, go ahead and check that out. It was a really good one. We finished three already, so we will have a much bigger month in June, but you know what? We will take it. Every little bit helps. All right, so I did mention in the last time I did a sinking funds video that I needed to get a cash planning sheet and kind of better plan how I'm gonna do everything. So guess what? I made a cash planning sheet. So here you'll write the sinking funds, you'll write the total amount that you wanna save, and then you'll write like the de denominations of each bill that you want to put towards it. So let me go ahead and fill this out for this $356 and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we have our $356 written right down here. I totaled up how much we had and then I started putting down how much I wanted to put into each category. And then over here, I wrote a, ha a dash, a slash for every uh, 50 that I wanted. And then here, since I want two fives, I put two slashes. You could also just write the number in there, however you wanna do it, but this will be a freebie to you guys in my Kofi. The link to that will be in the description box below. So that way you guys can do cash planning for your sinking funds as well. All right, so I have the proper amount here. It is still the $356. However, I did exchange it for some bigger bills because we don't need as many fives and singles in our envelopes as um, we, we had. So I changed some of the fives and singles in for some of the bigger bills. So let's go ahead, we'll get out our home category and we'll do that first. Windows is gonna get 50. We did mark the windows last time. However, we actually realized we needed a cash planning sheet and we did not complete it. So this time we are going to add the 50 to it. And since we already colored it in, that one is good to go. Okay. So I'm gonna move this off to the side, but that way you guys uh, have seen it. This is what the cash planning sheet looks like. And when you download it, it's going to be uh, two pages of the exact same thing. That way you can print it front and back. All right. So the next one we're gonna do is electrical for $10, and that's going to end up being two fives. And I will color in one of these electrical icons. I think the best color for it is a yellow. Pest is going to get $5. We don't need a lot in Pest, but my husband does buy this item, a product called Repel All that we put around um, some of the shrubs that have been eaten by some critters. I showed you guys in my one video how I have a shrub that looks like it's getting. So he did buy some more of the Repel All or he is planning on getting some more of the Rapal. We use the last of it um, and we'll sprinkle some more around that, those shrubs. I think it's like 15 or $20 at the Costco. So we don't need it just yet. So we're gonna see how the one, the last of the bag that we had is gonna work and see if that helps. If not, then we'll buy some more. All right, so exterior is gonna get 20. I'm 
just gonna color this in like so. It doesn't need to be a, the best job in the world, but just so that we know one of the icons is done. Okay. Exterior would be things like siding, um, the chimney maintenance that we have. Uh, we do a garage door, that type of thing. All right, so we are doing 50, 20 in flooring. Oops, it was stuck in there. All right, so let's get a nice brown color for the flooring. We did take out the, when we bought our house there was white carpet throughout the entire main floor. And obviously with uh, three dogs and two boys, white carpet is no bueno. So we did remove the white carpet and we put in, um, uh, what do they call it? Luxury vinyl planking. And we absolutely love it. It was like almost 100% waterproof and we have had some spills and it's not made the floor bubble up or anything. And we got it from Costco. It was this mohawk stuff. So I do recommend that if anybody's looking for anything, I had my brother-in-law install it for us. But this one flooring would be towards the upstairs. We do would like to get new carpet eventually on the second floor. So that is it for the home binder. Whoop, didn't mean to shake you. That is it for the home binder. Now we're gonna go to the auto binder. We are going to do a few in there. And we will start with new car. So new car is going to get a 50. And let's see, we will do a very pretty blue new car. I'm gonna color this kind of roughly cause I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to make it perfect coloring job. I'm just trying to make it so that it's indicated that we are fulfilling that icon. All right, the next one will be oil changes. That is getting 15. We will do a blue for that one. Five, 10, 15. My husband and I just got oil changes I, I want to say a month ago and we don't drive much uh, so we'll probably be good for a while but um, obviously with our road trip to New York we'll probably need one and one car sooner than the other so that's why we're only we're not super heavy on it but we do want to focus on that on that category so car repairs is going to get 70 so a 50 and a 20 and we will do a nice purple color because every mechanic has a purple wrench right and an orange vehicle <laughs> all right so 70 going into car repairs knock on wood I my car is in pretty good shape my I actually bought my car from my sister uh, she was buying her dream car which was a Tesla and so she was buying her dream car so she said you know do you want to buy my car for me my she knew I was in the market for a car and my sister when I say she takes immaculate care of everything that she buys especially when it comes to like oh sorry you can hear my dogs coming down the steps um when she they say she takes immaculate care of everything she buys I mean like the most pristine care like I used to buy all my cell phones from her because she would she was she's very into tech so she would get the newest latest greatest so and I never needed the newest latest greatest so I would buy them from her when the next one came out and it really worked out for a long time so when she bought her this car that is now my car brand new she took care of it like I don't even think anybody sat in the back seat when I bought it from her so she bought the car brand new in 2015. I bought it from her in 2018. She drove a lot. So when I bought it from her, it had 64,000 miles on it. I drive almost nothing. So my car just hit 100,000 miles on it. So I probably have put like 36,000 miles on it in the last six years. Uh, so, you know, she took such good care of it. I'm taking care of it. I think the car will last for quite some time. 
All right, so we filled it the brakes and put 15 in there. Now we're going to move over to the school and the kids binder. If you guys are interested in any of the dashboards that I have in the kids binder, they are available in my Etsy shop. I will have a link to that in the description box below. So we are going to go to the school pictures and oh, we'll do the school supply since that one's first. That one is going to get $10 today, so we'll do five ten. Since school pictures is coming around, or school supplies and school pictures is gonna come around in just a couple months now, we need to fill that in. All right, so school pictures should have in it $30 now, so we have 20, 25, and 30, perfect. Did I keep calling this one school pictures? It's school supplies, sorry. All right, school pictures is getting six. There it is. So five and six. And now school pictures should have in it 18. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. And let me color this one in. One more icon. And now we'll go to school lunches. And that one will get 25. Oh, I was really detailed on the school lunches here, so. Oh. I'm gonna throw the markers all over the place. Color in the little chicken. Color in the mac and cheese. Color in the milk. And color in this mystery item, which I'm assuming might be fruit. Okay, so let me add another 25. So now this one should have $50 in it. So 20, 40, 45, 50 in school lunches. That is it in this binder. And then we have one more binder for the last $60. We are going to our holiday binder. Let me get that out because 4th of July is in a month and we host 4th of July, we definitely need to bulk up the 4th of July. So I'm actually gonna put the last $60 in here. And on here I have that each icon is 10. Let's see if that's how I put it in there. Do I have $30 in here? I have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so then I guess I will put in the last 60 and I will color in six more icons. And now 4th of July has in it 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So I think I need a little bit more than this for 4th of July. Actually, I know I need a lot more than this for 4th of July because we host. But I will use Ellie's group play that is going on right now to be able to kind of substantiate that and build it up a little bit. So that is it for our sinking funds. Again, this cash planning sheet is available in my Kofi. If you're interested, it is absolutely free. Go ahead and check out the link for that in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what sinking funds you guys are filling and let me know how close you guys are to those sinking fund goals. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a good night. Bye-bye.